All right, let's try that again. <laughs> Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to Crypto Coin Mindset. Glad you're here. Uh, good morning. I'm going to have myself a little coffee right now. Ah, glad you're here. How was your weekend? I'm on the road today, so I'm, uh, uh, I'll apologize in advance for any kind of lighting issues. I've been fighting with it uh, since I set everything up here, the green screen and all the lights and uh, trying to use some natural light uh, in a couple of different places. It's a pain in the ass, to be quite frank. Uh, but uh, so I'll apologize if uh, things look a little funky, but uh, glad to have you with me. Appreciate you being here. Mike, welcome. Good afternoon, sir. Appreciate you, as always, being here today. All right. Well, uh, I, I should probably uh, start out by saying, yes, uh, there was a bit of confusion on Friday. Uh, Crypto on the Rocks didn't happen. I ended up with some food poisoning on Friday and I was out of commission uh, by midday on Friday. I canceled the stream on the platforms, uh, but I wasn't able to, because I was literally just try, using my phone at that point. Uh, so I wasn't able to cancel the emails that went out and all that kind of baloney. So I apologize for any confusion out there and the fact that it did not happen. So um, yeah, uh, this week coming up, I'm not sure if we're going to have crypto on the rocks as crypto on the rocks because the Bitcoin having is falling right around the 20th. Matter of fact, Let's take a quick look right now at what the uh, Bitcoin having clock says here. And here it is. Let's bring it up. And right here, four days, 10 hours, 46 minutes. And uh, yeah, it's looking. Uh, let me do this so we can get that a little bit bigger there for you. Um, it's uh, looking right now, the 20th. At around, I don't know, one in the morning UTC, which for me brings it down to around 8 p.m. Friday night. Now, I know there's a concerted effort going on right now online because I see it on Twitter all the time. Okay, uh, miners cut back by 1% here, do that here, uh, trying to get this all to happen on 420. People are trying like hell to get the uh, Bitcoin having on 420. So uh, that right now, it looks like it's just hanging on to that uh, 420 mark. So bottom line is, uh, I'm not sure if Crypto on the Rocks itself uh, will be happening this week in its normal form. It will very likely be uh, something along the lines of our having event, which, by the way, uh, will be primarily uh, run on the Matrix Money podcast channel. Link in the description of this live stream. Make sure you're heading over there, like and subscribe. But we will be simulcasting it. Uh, Jar, FF, and myself will be simulcasting it on our own social media. So you'll uh, be able to see it on all of our YouTube channels, on the Matrix Money podcast, Twitter, and um, my Twitter and Facebook. So uh, we'll be around there. You'll be able to join in, jump in the live stream. However, uh, we're going to be doing a giveaway for a wallet that we didn't end up doing uh, about a week or so ago. And uh, that giveaway, you got to be uh, subscribed to the Matrix Money podcast channel. So make sure you go ahead and do that. And I'm probably also going to be giving out uh, a couple, at least one, maybe two uh, Bible and Bitcoin books to people in the live stream. We'll be doing all that kind of stuff literally live. Uh, while we're waiting on the having, and uh, we'll stick around maybe even a little bit after that. All right, so let's take a look at the markets. Uh, I mean, today we're going to be talking primarily about uh, the SEC's Wells notice to Uniswap. And uh, I, I know that's kind of old news that, that came out uh, toward the end of last week, but uh, I wanted to make sure we at least touched on it. To me, it just keeps playing into the theme that I've been uh, putting out with all these live streams on government overreach, uh, the the actual just, uh, you know, way that the U.S. has basically been targeting the cryptocurrency market and uh, the fact that we need pro-cryptocurrency um, legislators in office. And uh, we'll talk, matter of fact, 
I forgot to bring that up. I'll go look for it if I can find it real quick um, with regard to John Deaton, who's running against Elizabeth Warren. And, and you know, and I know that I have people from Massachusetts watching this live stream. And if not live right now, I will have them watching the replay. I encourage you to make sure that you learn more about John Deaton and consider voting for John Deaton and get Elizabeth Warren the hell out of there. Um, she is just no friend of cryptocurrency at the end of the day. Cheers. I cannot confirm nor deny there might be Bailey's. <clears throat> anyway, uh, but uh, it, it also what I wanted to point out was uh, John Deaton was putting out, and I had shared a lot of it, uh, a big push for the first quarter of fundraising for his campaign. And he outraised, uh, fundraised Elizabeth Warren. Uh, I think he got something like $1.35 million uh, in campaign donations. Uh, and she came up with 1.1. And that was with her literally like just stoking her base from before he even ended up officially declaring his candidacy um, for running against her. So I think that's great. I'm glad to see that. Alexander, glad to see you. Welcome, welcome. Yes, go D and I'm, I'm hoping. And, uh, and, and it plays again into what we're talking about right now. Now I know this action with regard to Uniswap is a, um, is an SEC thing, but at the end of the day, Gary Gensler is just Elizabeth Warren's flunky. Let's be honest. And, uh, you know, he's, he's doing the bidding of what he's told to be doing. That's just the way it is. And this whole regulation through enforcement actions that he keeps continually taking against this space, even though for the most part, he's getting his ass handed to him left and right. Uh, but anyway, before we go down that road, we'll come back to the Bitcoin having and, and talk more about that at the end of this live stream. Uh, so stay tuned. We'll we'll talk more about that, and I'll I'll give you all the information again about the live stream that we're going to be doing uh, for the Bitcoin having. And again, I just uh, wanted to apologize. I know I got more people jumping in now, so I'll just mention it again. I apologize that Crypto on the Rocks didn't happen on Friday. I had food poisoning, and and it just wiped me out on Friday. By midday Friday, I was I was done. I was done. I didn't wake up till Saturday. By the time I was done running to the bathroom and just, damn, I thought it was going to kill me. <laughs> Literally, I thought it was going to kill me. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I apologize for that. Uh, and again, this week's, uh, this Friday's Crypto on the Rocks may not be Crypto on the Rocks as normal uh, because of the live stream. But again, we'll talk about that toward the end of this live stream. All right, let's jump into the markets and see what they're doing. Because over the weekend, we had a major pullback in the markets. I mean, I'm sure uh, most of you are around the markets enough to realize what happened. And, and the pullback we saw, Bitcoin was down around 60K. And, uh, you know, back up right here, just under 66. Uh, make sure you can see that. Yep. Let me just put that up there because, you know, cover my ass here because, you know, how people are. Uh, but basically, 65, 970. 978. Uh, so we've had a little bit of a recovery where Bitcoin is concerned. You know, originally I was saying, I, you know, making predictions that we'd see Bitcoin up around that 100K mark before the halving. Only four more days. Um, I'm thinking I may have, uh, I may have overshot that a little bit, but uh, hey, whatever. What the hell do I know? Again, not financial advice, not a financial advisor. Old guy in a whips. The hell do I know? Uh, cheers. All right. So let's uh, let's keep going here. Ethereum, uh, 32. Oops, went right by it. 32, down 11% overall in the last week. Made a, a decent recovery. I think it went below 3,000, as I recall. Uh, BNB still holding pretty steady in that $571 mark but down three and a half percent. Solana, big hit from Solana down 16.9. So 17% down at 150 bucks, basically. 149.86. XRP down to the 50 cent mark, 17.1% down in the last week. And uh, that's okay. 
Just a buying opportunity the way I see it. Uh, Dogecoin back down 21%. And you know what? Super. You know, if for those who wanted to get into Doge, uh, it'll probably do good in this cycle. Although I don't know about all-time highs. Maybe, maybe people are into the meme coin thing. So it's it's highly possible. Uh, 15.9 cents. Cardano. Now you see this to me is more where Cardano belongs. You want the truth? I think it could still go down a little bit more. Uh, or let's let's rephrase that. I would like to see it go down a little bit more before it's taking its move up. Down 20% over the last week at just over 48 cents. Just over 48 cents. All right. AVAX looking like a good buy, if you ask me. 37.93 down 24%. SHIB down 19.7%, almost 20%. BCH down 23%, 531. Uh, what else we got? Tron. Look at this. Even being down 7.5%, still holding in that uh, 11 cent mark. I love it. Uh, Chainlink down 21%. 14.44. Great buy for Chainlink, if you ask me. Cheers. Uh, Matic down 21%. 73 cents. Not bad. Not bad. Well below that $1 mark for Matic. ICP down 25%, 13.30. Litecoin, you know, I like it for what it's meant to be used for. Buy shit with Litecoin. Save you Bitcoin. Uh, 22% down, holding though, and that $80 mark. Now, let's take a look at Uniswap. Normally, I don't stop at Uniswap, but where we're talking Uniswap today and the Wells notice from the SEC, let's take a look. Down 33.8%, but that's so say 34%, but up 9.5% in the last 24 hours. So this thing was down almost 50%, and it's at $7.64 current. So uh, it took quite the dip when the note uh, information about the Wells notice came out uh, because everybody still, for whatever reason, fears the SEC. And uh, I, you know what? I don't get it. I don't get it at this point. Uh, but anyway, uh, Uniswap right now, $7.64. All right, what else we got here? Stacks down 20%, $2.68. If you're looking at stacks, that's below three bucks. Might be worth your time. Render down 7%, but up 21% in the last 24 hours. Crazy. Uh, back up over nine bucks. Filecoin, $6.26. We haven't seen it down that low uh, in a while, down over 31%, uh, $6.26. V-Chain, not bad, all things being equal, uh, for about four and a half cents. Stellar XLM, still in that 11 cent area, even though it's down 16% over the last week. Mutable X, another one down 21%, 222 H-Bar. Look at this, buy for H-Bar. Holy crap, down 22.5% in the last seven days. H bar, eight and a half cents. What a great buy. What a great buy. Another great buy right here, Caspa, down almost 11%, 12 cents for Caspa. Cannot, cannot even be like saying anything about that. Uh, bought some. What, 200 more this weekend? Yeah, I, 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 great buying opportunity. If you have money on the side, and I, I, I'm i honestly sad. I, I didn't have enough money on the side. I did do a little DCA over the over the dip this weekend. Uh, but yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. If you've got money on the side, you should have been buying in on that dip. That was like a, like a freebie over the weekend. Uh, for for buying in, Alexander. I'm glad to hear that you definitely were buying in on that. Good for you, man. Good for you. Uh, let's keep zipping a little bit. With well, let's stop here. Down thirty, almost thirty one percent. Uh, two dollars eighty four cents. If you're into the meme thing, and uh, you know you you want some with, maybe now's the chance. <clears throat> All right, let's keep going here a little bit more. Pepe. 
still in that five cent mark, down almost 30%. XMR. You probably all have heard about the delisting of Monero uh, over in, uh, was it uh, the EU or something from Kraken? And, uh, you know, it's it's what it is. Yeah, these centralized exchanges are just trying to uh, otherwise avoid the wrath of these regulatory agencies. So uh, whatever, whatever. XMR is probably best picked up on decentralized decentralized platforms. Just seriously. Uh, I'm still working. Matter of fact, well, we'll talk about that until the end. I don't want to get way off, off topic just yet. Thorchain, Rune. This thing went down to almost four bucks. I honestly, I was almost aping in to Rune. If it had gone a little bit lower, I think I would have. Uh, down almost 30% here. Uh, $5.43. So it's back up about a buck uh, from where I was like, oh yeah, come on, a little bit more, baby. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, uh, it kind of bottomed and then uh, started coming back up. And I again, I'm a, I'm a bull about the Thor chain and Rune. So uh, let's see, Gala, one of the items you can vote for when we do do have, blah, 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 say that five times fast. And again, there may not be any uh, Baileys in here, but still. Uh, Gala at just over four cents, down 30%. You can vote for that as one of our DCA options on Crypto on the Rocks every Friday night, 7 p.m. Again, this Friday may be a little in flux because of uh, because of uh, the the having event. Quant, 112.39, not bad. Beam, another one of the items you can uh Vote for us to dollar cost average into on crypto on the rocks down over 12%. Uh, hovering in just under that three cent mark at 2.9 cents. Uh, let's see, anything else I want to touch on? I don't think so. I think we're good. All right, that's a that's enough of the market for right now. So, yeah, I can see I, I got lighting issues going on here, guys, and I apologize. I have uh, I have been fighting with these. I'm trying. I'm I'm in a different location, so I'm trying to do uh, a, a combination of natural lighting around me as well as the regular lights with the green screen. And it's just yeah, it ain't working very well right now. I, I don't understand the problem. Uh, I'll see if I can make a quick fix on it uh, while I have everybody here trying not to. How about that? Ugh. Are you kidding me? All right. I ain't going to sit here fighting with that while we're trying to trying to chat and go over what we got to go over here. Uh, so it is what it is. I'm sorry. Please bear with me. Uh, I'm trying my best in uh, this whole week here. I'm, I'm on the road. So uh, with the exception for Friday, God willing, I'll be back, for the, back in the natural habitat for Friday's live stream. All right. So let's bring up the the uh, first article to kind of start talking about uh, this whole Wells notice uh, and Uniswap. So uh, where are we here? Right here. Here we go. Uh, so basically this, this first article here is talking about how Uniswap dropped in trading. Uh, obviously, once the note, uh, information about the Wells notice came out, and I'm, again, I get it, but at this point, I kind of, I don't know. It's one of those, ah, yes, definitely in a different location. Um, anyway, uh, it, it's it's one of those things that, you know, I, I get it. The SEC has wide, and, and the, U, the U.S. DOJ and, and the U.S. in general has w wide reaching influence uh, across you know, the space, uh, and because of its, its dominance around the world. However, I don't know. I, I, it, they need to have their asses. Well, Gary's had his ass handed to him how many times, but they, they need to have it more, especially with regard to if, if something here happens with regard or comes out of this Wells notice, uh, where, you know what, you are not the, the arbiter of the world. At this point, stick within your borders and deal within your shit. 
uh, not taking your peddling your influence elsewhere. Um, okay, there, there, there you go. My my two proverbial cents there. Uh, basically, the article starts out by saying again, dropped almost ten percent after the SEC uh, issued its Wells notice. And um, what I wanted to go over was this part of the article. Uh, that their chief legal officer for Uniswap Labs, uh, who was the one who put out uh, puts out the um, yeah the program for uh, Uniswap, and I, I also I put a a, a uh, poll on YouTube asking how many people use Uniswap. Right now, it is a fifty fifty split. Uh, with people who have responded to the poll, whether using or not using Uniswap. Um, I had 100 Air jump in uh, in one of the comments saying that, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, the fees are too expensive. And he's not wrong. I mean, it's Ethereum. Ethereum fees are astrophrickonomical. Uh, but anyway, uh, basically, the uh, chief legal officer uh, says that the company is ready to basically defend itself and... Uh, against any lawsuit that might be lodged by the SEC. Uh, and we'll go through right here uh, uh, what he says here. The Uniswap protocol, web app, and wallet don't meet the legal definitions of securities exchange or broker. Just weeks ago, the judge in SEC versus Coinbase dismissed the claim that crypto wallets were brokers, even if the tokens issue at issue were securities. So, and uh, I, I think we touched on that briefly in a, a different live stream that I did maybe a week or two ago um, about that uh, judgment uh, with regard to Coinbase. And it just shows, again, how the SEC is sitting here spraying whatever, trying to, uh, you know, have something stick to the per proverbial wall. And uh, I don't know. I, I don't get it because, you know, they're just making themselves look like a bunch of freaking idiots. Gary looks like a freaking retard running around just fucking pointing his finger at everybody. You got Elizabeth Warren here getting her anti-crypto army um, who, uh, you know, obviously when you talk to them and ask them, about, yeah, well, first off, she lies about what she puts out there. She's already been community noted how many times on, on Twitter and uh, people have literally called her out. You can see all of the hearings that she has are quite well rehearsed, whether it's with Jamie Dimon or whether it's with Gary Gensler, it doesn't matter, or the uh, uh, assistant treasury secretary uh, that we talked about last Wednesday. You know, I mean, please, just please. Anyway. Uh, so, ah, uh, we need a change. We need a change. We need a change because this is irreparable, irreparably. Wow. I don't know. I can't say that this morning. It's harming the United States overall. It's making us less competitive in this industry. It is hurting people in the sense that you are taking the brightest minds and you're getting rid of them. They're leaving. Why would they stay here? It doesn't even make sense. The U.S. used to be a hub of innovation. I mean, look, Silicon Valley, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if you try to do any kind of technical innovation in the cryptocurrency space, why? Why would you bother? You run the risk of literally being like sued by some kind of agency or God knows what for doing what? Innovating with tech. It just doesn't make sense. And the fact that Uniswap Labs here has decided that they are going to uh, go ahead and uh, be prepared to fight this, I'm glad to hear that. And if you can hear the dogs running in the background, oh, my God, I got my daughter's dogs here today. Oh, <laughs> live streams. You got to love them. Got to love them. All right. We're going to take, matter of fact, while this plays, I'm going to go try and take care of the dogs real quick. Uh, but I want to bring this up, a, uh, a quick interview with Meta Lawman on Twitter. Uh, links to all of this stuff, by the way, that I'm putting up here 
are in the description of this live stream. Um, and this tweet where he's doing an interview on uh, with Paul Barron, it's about a, it's a little over a minute long. And uh, I'm going to bring that up, put that on. I'm going to step away for a second, actually. And um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, play that. And he's going to talk about exactly what I was just saying. So we're going to let him uh, talk about that. And I will be right back. The elections in November are going to be extremely important to crypto. If we want to slow down uh, this train, if we want to stop it and stop the damage that is occurring, because as you know, we're sending out some of our smartest minds who are yep. literally leaving the United States and going somewhere where it is safer to innovate. Yep. It is a This is a dangerous place to innovate in the area of financial services right now. And so people are smart people and they're they're taking capital with them they're taking brain power we're talking about brilliant mit kind of people that are taking off and going elsewhere and i know this for a fact because we represented them at my law firm not that long ago where we would explain to them what the regulatory situation is in the united states and their answer would be thank you very much for that information we're packing up and heading to estonia or wherever it might yeah. be this is real it's not some hypothetical you know argument that people are making up as a straw man this is happening i've seen it and it's really unfortunate it needs to be stopped and now we're depending on courts and judges to stop it for now um, but we really need to uh, express our views uh, in November in this election cycle. No doubt about it. And, and, and that's a great point. And part of what I was talking about earlier with saying, you know, for those, again, I know I've got people either watching this live stream from Massachusetts or will be watching this on the replay from Massachusetts. Um, and, and you need to seriously consider uh, voting for John D and, and and kicking Elizabeth Warren the hell out of the Senate. Uh, you know, she ran and, and got elected to the Senate, what, uh, uh, 12, 13 years ago, basically, for on, on the platform of like, you know, screw the banks, I'm for the little guy, uh, I'm going to go defend your rights and this, that, and the other thing. And look where it's gotten us. It's gotten us her anti-crypto army. It's gotten us her puppet, Gary Gensler, who is sitting here serving Wells notices to, um, uh, to, to, to everybody and their brother here uh, in, the late, in this uh, latest case, uh, Uniswap. It's, it's, it's got to stop. It's got to end. And I think we can start that transition, start that end by putting in crypto uh, positive crypto uh, supporters into legislative roles. Now, uh, I know we're talking right now uh, federal Senate uh, kind of uh, role with regard to Elizabeth Warren and, and John Deaton and uh, links to John Deaton. If you want to donate to his campaign in the description of this live stream, head over there, John Deaton for Senate.com. And uh, you can donate. You can donate with crypto. If you do donate with crypto, I did do that process. Uh, it took me about 10 minutes and uh, it's run through Coinbase. You got to answer some questions because, again, donations and then crypto to boot. Uh, but uh, you can do that. And Coinbase takes care of all that for you. Speaking of Coinbase, uh, the next thing I wanted to bring up was, you know, the. I, I don't know. To me, it's a it's a bit of a, a double edged sword, and I'll be interested to see what <clears throat> you guys have to say about it in the uh, in the, in the chat here. Uh, but uh, the other article that I wanted to to bring up was uh, crypto leaders rally behind Uniswap amid SEC regulatory concerns, and one of the the main people that they highlight here is um, uh, Brian Armstrong from uh, Coinbase, the CEO from Coinbase, uh, where, and, and okay, here's, here's my thought process. I am glad that Coinbase has taken on an active role in uh, defending the crypto industry. Glad, 
happy to see it, uh, especially because they're U.S. based. However, I don't want Coinbase to be the only crypto advocate on the hill, <laughs> you know, who's advocating to our legislators, to whatever administration's in office and that kind of thing. And again, not that I think they're necessarily doing a bad thing or they're, you know, don't have crypto's best interests at heart. Um, now, when SBF was trying to buy his influence uh, by donating to everybody and their brother in his Ponzi scheme and then taking the money and giving it to everybody in Congress and, of course, Biden. Matter of fact, that was the first when he donated to Biden before Biden even became president, that's when I knew what was going on. I could see right through his bullshit and I decided I would never use FTX. I would never support FTX. And uh, not that I'm trying to say I was right, but I was right. Cheers. Anyway, uh, and, and that's my point. I'm not saying that that's necessarily what's going on here with um Coinbase, because honestly, I really do believe that Coinbase has more of the uh, user, crypto user interest in mind and at heart. But we need to have other advocates there. And I know there are other advocates there. And, and uh, you know, I, I didn't put together a list or anything like that. But um, I, I think we need to to kind of join together and we need to be able to uh, educate people first and foremost, because, you know, even if nothing else with these Bitcoin ETFs, right? I mean, I know most people are just like, you know, if their advisor says, get this, they get this, they do that or whatever. Most people don't do their own research, but this particular item, even in the, the, you know, like a Bitcoin ETF, for example, I mean, it's completely trackable, assuming that whatever ETF provider gives you their wallet address, right? Proof of reserves is easy. And most people won't take that time. But those are the kind of things that need to be out there for people to be able to advocate to legislators to help educate the general public, to educate, quite frankly, other legislators, because half of them don't know what the hell they're doing. I mean, the guy who ended up sponsoring uh, Warren's latest bill uh, that was written by the uh, Banking Association, he at, at which he let that out of the bag at a fundraising event, uh, talked about the bill and basically read the talking points and at the end said, and that's all I know. Because they don't know. They don't want to take the time to learn. But we need to educate them if we're going to have common sense regulatory frameworks here in the United States. Otherwise, like you just heard in that clip with Meta Lawman, is what's going to happen? More stuff is going to go offshore. The U.S. is going to become less competitive. And I know some of you watching this live stream right now, not from the U.S., and you're like, who gives a shit? I, I get it. I get it completely. But uh, I'm sorry. Right now, as we see, they the, the U.S. still wields its influence, whether you like it, whether you don't like it. So would it not make sense to try and have common sense wielding <laughs> uh, coming through, right? I, I mean, I don't know. That makes sense to me anyway. What, do I, what the hell do I know? Like I said, old guy, interwebs. Um, but I think you get my point. I, I'm not going to belabor it here. Let's get that out of here. I'm I'm not going to belabor that. I I really believe that you need to talk and pay attention to what's coming and who's coming, and with regard to legislators in your particular area, if you are in the United States, if you are outside of the United States, guess what? You still need to do that because, you know, look at look at what's going on in the EU. It's one of these cramping it down kind of things. And you just it's like just getting more difficult and more difficult and more difficult. 
that's only delaying the inevitable. It's uh, okay. I don't want to get down all of this. Bottom line is, I believe that cryptocurrency is going to in Bitcoin cryptocurrency. I, I think that's going to overtake the world. It is going to displace fiat currency. I think they're going to try to mitigate that through regulation and through CBDCs. And the only way to deal with that and to help protect yourself from that is to be outside of it. Uh, again, you know, I talked about that. Go ahead down to YouTube. Matter of fact, it's in the description of this live stream, the Living on Crypto series. Um, working on a number of videos. Hopefully one of them will be out Thursday. We'll see how the editing goes for that. That's what I got. What do you guys think? Tell me in the live chat while uh, I do a quick wrap up here. Um, th that's basically where we are. You need to get involved. For, again, for, I know I've got a number of people in Massachusetts. Deaton, Deaton, John Deaton, link to his campaign website in the description of this live stream. You need to consider voting for him and getting rid of Elizabeth Warren, uh, taking away and showing, because think about this. If he beats out Elizabeth Warren, what do you think that's going to show the people in D.C.? That crypto is a force to be reckoned with, especially going forward. And that is what they need to hear. That's what they need to hear because it is. End of the day. It absolutely is. All right. That's basically it for me today. I, I've gotten everything out. Again, links to everything that I showed you, everything I talked about in the description of this live stream. Go ahead and check those out. All right. So what's going on for the rest of the week? If all goes well, tomorrow we'll be doing a Matrix Money podcast. Myself, Jar, and FF. Matter of fact, you know what? While I'm chatting, let's bring up the having clock. There we go. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll leave it like that for now. Um, right now, looking, like I said, right around midnight UTC on the 20th. So uh, that's Saturday morning, midnight. The plan, uh, okay. So again, tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern time. Now, unless something happens, myself, Jar, FF will be live. We'll probably be talking about the having and our live stream that's coming down on Friday night, I'm going to guess, uh, because this clock at around midnight UTC plays out to about 8 p.m. Eastern time on the 19th on Friday night. Uh, so that's why I said Crypto on the Rocks very likely will end up being the live stream for the Bitcoin having event instead. Uh, make sure that you have subscribed to the Matrix Money Podcast channel link is in the description because on that live stream, while we're on that live stream, uh, we're going to be giving away a wallet, uh, a hardware wallet. We're also going to be giving away at least one, maybe two copies of the Bible and Bitcoin. And uh, you can win them by uh, being in the live chat and being subscribed to that channel. Uh, not only will the live stream be on that channel, it'll be simulcast on all of our YouTube channels and other social media channels as well. As for me, I will be again live Wednesday. What am I talking about? No clue yet. We'll see. Uh, we'll, it might be Bitcoin. Who knows? We'll see. And uh, then Thursday, God willing, you'll be getting the next in the series uh, for the Living on Crypto uh, series. So stay tuned for that. And then of course, Friday, the live stream for the Bitcoin having event. I really appreciate everybody being here today and, uh, it's coming. Things are going to get exciting. This is going to be a busy week for cryptocurrency. Absolutely busy week. We're going to, uh, you know, with the, the having and just all this crap coming out from the sec and, and everywhere else, it's going to be a lot of stuff to talk about. So, uh, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to everything. If there's something that's really that important, I will be live ASAP and we'll talk it all out. Other than that, we'll see you tomorrow, 10 a.m., Matrix Money Podcast channel. I hope you have a great 
rest of your day. I hope your week goes well. And I will see you tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern time. I hope you have a great rest of your day.